I'm Yuri. I'm Jake. And we're going for a drive. New 2022 Ford F-150 Tremor. Without launch control, brake boost in rear-wheel drive mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty sick truck. Horsepower and torque. 400 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque from a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. Big numbers. And then this slots in before a Raptor, but higher than an FX4 off-road. I'm gonna call this Raptor Junior. And I think they did a great job because we need to get those fake Raptors off the road and now people can build fake Tremors. Yes. <laughs> get, get some orange paint and run that across the grill and, and we good. You know it'd be really good if you put an Oo grill on this. Okay, before we get into all the Oo grill stuff, you may have noticed a cool little logo above our intro. Yeah, we have a new sponsor on board. Shout out Sirius XM. We have been using Sirius XM for years if you've watched all of our videos. If you go back, the first video that I discovered Sirius XM in was the Elantra video, which was my first press car that I got to actually use. So from day one of press cars, I've been about it. There you go, you've been rewinding for years. We're looking forward to giving you all the details on where to get Sirius XM and its new platform, Sirius XM 360L. Plus latest updates, free trial info, and we might bombard you with our favorite radio station like 90s on 9, Little Steven's Underground Garage. It's all about Channel 44. TikTok Radio. We got a whole bunch of stations and shirts to match. And if you're looking to try Sirius XM, which we would love you to do, you can start your free three month trial. Check out the Canadian and US links below. SiriusXM.ca or SiriusXM.com slash the straight pipes. Oh my God, that transmission. Yeah, Okay. Let's, laggy. Let's get into it. What mode were you in there, sport? I was in sport, rear wheel drive, traction off. So this 10 speed is definitely a little bit laggy. It's not the fault of the engine because Ford says there's zero lag, but the problem is the lag is with the transmission. Yeah, I've had left turns through intersections where I'm like, oh my God, did I do something wrong? And it just lagged. Yeah, it just kind of gear hunts and the tuning on the Tremor specifically, it's a little weird. And we do have a bunch of drive modes and the animations for those are always fantastic as they are on every new F-150. But you kind of want to just drive this in normal unless you're going to take this off-road and then you have like 10 different off-road modes. But you do also have the ability to control your gears with your M mode and then your plus minus on your actual shifter. You don't have any paddles like a Raptor. So it's not like fully Raptorified, but it's like kind of Raptorified. And then we do have a trail control button up here like in the Broncos, I guess, that we've been driving recently too. Yeah, and then this and has the that, trail turn assist. The trail turn, which is in features here on the infotainment and right there. Yeah, so just like the Bronco. So you do get a lot of off-roady features in this. It's not just like a sticker package. There's actually a lot going on here. But we don't have the full-on Fox shocks like the Raptor. No, but we do have Tremor-specific shocks with Tremor-specific tuning and Tremor-specific ride height and they actually make a really big difference. F-150s in this generation already ride really, really well every single one. The Raptor is very floaty as you'd expect. This one isn't quite as floaty. It's a perfect balance between like the FX4 and the Raptor. And then the looks wise, I think it's the perfect appearance. Like in person, it looks much more present than on images. Yes. It, and it's just like a perfect almost Raptor that's not like a poser F-150. Not like saying like modifying your your Ford F-150 makes you a poser or something. Right, it's like, putting the Oo grill on the f one Yeah, I'm just saying this is like a nice option for not having to mod it or not buying it pre-modded from a dealership. Yeah, you get a lot of cool stuff. Like all the orange accents, Tremor specific. You have these really cool vents on the hood, which is a unique hood to the Tremor. You have really cool vents on the side with really nice orange accents. And then around back, the exhaust is integrated into the bumper, very similar to a Raptor. And then the side steps are also, according to Ford, Raptor inspired. To me, they look exactly like Raptor steps, minus the Raptor logo. I love the Tremor logo on the back. I think perfect. I love how it's on the seats and everything too. Like very good name, very good imagery for everything. Yeah. And you know what I really like? Do you think they based it off the movie? Tremors? I actually never saw it. Is it about earthquakes? Oh, dude, it's the craziest movie. I was terrified of it for like the longest time when I was a kid. These like little tremor things pop out of the ground, terrifying. We've got a five and a half foot bed. We do have the spray and bed liner option. And then it is a powered tailgate and it's got all the fun Ford stuff where you can jump on the tailgate and go up the stairs and whatnot. If we look at the side of the truck, you can also tell that it's lifted. You do get one and a half inches of extra travel in the rear and one inch in the front. 
but I think that's where it kind of gets weird because of the rake of the truck. It's like heavily raked to the nose. I didn't notice until you pointed it out to me, but that still doesn't bother me. Yeah, so my buddy Corey actually just bought one of these and he's the one that really pointed it out because he already, prior to even getting the truck, he was looking at leveling kits for it. So there you go. Corey also, shout out Corey, because he actually mentioned a bunch of things because he looked into this truck so hard. There's kind of a lot of funny things with the 2022 versus the 2021. I'm assuming because of the chip shortage stuff. Number one, his truck took several months to get in. Number two, uh, the climate control. They actually removed the digital part of the display and you just have your on and your dual rather than having the actual climate displayed there. That's right. Yeah, and then another weird thing is the license plate lights. The bulbs themselves are now halogen where they were LED before. Interesting. Hey, it's weird times. Exactly. And then, I don't know if this is a chip shortage thing, we do have a bed camera, but it is the lowest resolution ever compared to the regular 360 camera that we have and the reverse camera, because those are fantastic re resolution. The bed camera is terrible. Yeah, I don't understand that, but uh, let's just go with chip shortage. Yeah. Oh, and then, sorry, Corey. Actually, you're welcome, Corey. Corey's also upset that Ford removed lead foot as a color option. Let's talk about this color, because I actually hate this brown. I love this brown. I think it works perfectly. It's called gray, but it's brown. It works perfectly with the orange accents. You know, my first car was actually brown before I painted it lime yeah, green. Yeah, yeah, the same color as this. <laughs> Except that one wasn't glossy. So you're, 500 saying, bucks. you're <laughs> saying you painted it because you hated the color so much. As a as an eighteen year old, <laughs> yes, I hated the color brown. As a thirty five year old, glossy brown is killer. Would you like chrome on this as well? I think the orange. Just, I think this is perfect looking. Okay, okay. And then with the looks, I think these wheels slash tires look perfect for it. Yeah, they actually do. They're one inch wider as well. They're General Grabbers, which is a company owned by Continental, which you used to have on your Raptor. But what would be the Continental recommended tire for the Tremor? The ones that I also switched to, the Terrain Contact AT. And this being the Tremor, you have a locking rear differential, and you can also get a optional Torsen front diff, which is really nice. And a skid plate. Yes, just like the Raptor. It's got a, the perfect amount of little Raptor stuff, and since it's factory, it's it's just the perfect mix, I think. R right, exactly. For it's, not being a Raptor. It's a big enough step up from the FX4, which I honestly, before looking into it, didn't think it would be, but it really is. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do one final send in the Cliche Corner before you drive. Not that anyone's going to be really sending this on road and yeah, it feels like an F-150 that's a little bit taller and a little bit floatier. It doesn't rip like a Raptor, don't expect it to, but... I feel like the Mojave Jeep ripped harder than this. And you know what else ripped harder than this? The Ram Rebel. Yeah, but maybe that's not off-roady as this and that's where this would shine. Potentially, because that is the direct competitor to this because everyone got mad at us whenever we brought up the Raptor, but we just hadn't driven a Tremor until now. How about a Trail Boss? Yep, that would be exactly what this is. Silverado. Yeah, so I don't know. This is a really good truck. Um, I don't really have too many complaints with it, except one thing that I want you to get to when you drive. I feel like I don't have any complaints with this. Oh, yes, you do. Do I? Okay, I'm excited to find out what my complaint is. You're probably right. Traction on sport mode. All wheel drive. No, that was rear-rear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> a lot of torque. Decent power once it gets going, but like that laggy thing in the transmission here and there kind of sucks sometimes. Yeah, so, okay. Let's get to what you hate about this that you don't remember that I remember because I also hate it. This has blue crews, Yuri. <laughs> This that. has optional Blue Cruise. Okay, what is Blue Cruise? We tried to use it in the Mach-E GT, but we could not get it to work. Yeah, so Blue Cruise is kind of similar to Cadillac Super Cruise, where they have to pre-map the roads, and then you can, according to Ford, use on pre-mapped highways, hands-free. So we were trying to use it, and every time we tried to use it, it said Blue Cruise active and all that stuff. On a major highway, 400 series. Take your hands off and put your hands back on the wheel! Yeah, so it kept telling us to put our hands back on the wheel, so it's not hands-free in our testing. And then the other thing that it kept doing is telling you to watch the road, keep your eyes on the road. It's got a little camera here in the door. Or that, sensor, not a that, camera. That watches your eyes. Yeah. And uh, I, I it, pretty much you look away. And like to change your radio station. It would beep you. You look at a bird or, or a building, beep you. 
And then if you're looking fully straight, it's good. But then you still have to hand your hands on the wheel because we couldn't get blue cruise to work without that. So I even had it pop up for me when I was trying to change my gauge cluster. Like I was looking down at the gauge cluster instead of up at the road. And if you're on a phone call or something, it like mutes all the audio coming in constantly. It just worked very awfully for us. But you can turn that off in the infotainment through features driving assistance. But when you turn that off, then you don't have good lane centering at all. Where an old Ford, like a Ford Edge or something, would have awesome lane centering without anything caring about your eyes. Yeah. So I would recommend not getting Blue Cruise at all because none of it has worked for us and I don't think it is a good system at all. Yeah, so I mean, hopefully they work out with the kinks and stuff, but right now from our testing, it just hasn't done really well and at all for us. Is it subscription? Uh, okay, so I went to the Ford website. You do have to option it. By the way, you don't have to option it on this. You can get regular adaptive and lane keep. I would recommend that. Went on the Ford website and it says that it is a subscription service after three years. So you have to subscribe to Blue Cruise. But besides that, the gauge cluster is great. I mean, I'm still not super into the 1.3 or whatever. The tack, RPM, yeah. But I don't bother looking at it. I see my Speedo and I'm happy. The graphics are cool. All the buttons on the steering wheel are nice. All the buttons on the infotainment are pretty good for the climate. We have enough for volume and tuning knob and the tuning knob I think is working really well lately, showing all the Sirius XM satellite radio stations. Yes, that's right. And it does rewind in here, so that's also good. If you're looking to get your free three-month trial, link's in the description below. Have you gotten used to sync now? Like, do you actually like sync? Because I've always liked sync. Yeah. It's, it's not the best, but it's good. It's gotten a lot better, I think, because even like with the volume knob, when you turn that and it shows up, you can still click stuff. And then if I go to Apple CarPlay, I still have this thing at the bottom which shows all of my other things that I can jump back to and back to my CarPlay. Yeah. And then even with this little screen on the right, it makes uh, Apple CarPlay a little smaller, but it's nice because it doesn't mean I have to reach as far like I do in the Tundra, where it was almost like way too spread out. And compared to a Tundra, this infotainment is pushed a lot farther away from me, so I don't have to feel like I'm looking down at my, right. like this. Yep. And then you can also watch the bed camera in very low res while you're driving at any speed, which is kind of cool. Yeah, and then our 360 cameras and everything are good. It makes it very easy for parking. We do have a camera button right up here, which is the best feature because these are huge trucks and you want to make sure there's no little kids running in front of you before you start driving forward. And then in terms of other drive modes, which not really drive modes, you have two high, four high, and four low. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. you probably use if, if you go off-roading in this, which is, this. I guess this is kind of meant, like from the commercials I saw, it's like, if you have to work at a job site, but your job site is through the woods. Yeah. That's why we built you the tremor, so you don't have to build your own. This is like a logging truck or something like that. Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe that. you have like a job at a, a, a construction job at a cottage, and it's yeah. like tricky to get to. Well, so here's the like thing. A real, like a real cottage. Right. And this will tow a hell of a lot more than a Raptor. This tow is 10,900 pounds, so it makes sense because the shocks aren't as soft. So if you have to tow, this also has the towing package as well. Okay, more cool stuff on the interior that I like. We got AC power up here in the back row, which I used to charge my Segway before I did the filming with the Segway for this because I forgot to charge it at home. And then we got the plug in the very back. And this has Pro Powered on board. Oh, and one more thing in the infotainment that I forgot that Corey mentioned to me. This doesn't actually have any different colors for ambient lighting where it did in the past. It's only teal. You can't customize that. It's just on or off. I guess that sucks. I don't know if that's a chip shortage thing or something. It does have heated, cooled, and heated steering wheel. Yes, and there are lights for that still, so that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, was, it was the GM that had the button, but they didn't have the chip, so yes. they had to upgrade the chip later that's for That's right, it. yeah, the Traverse. Wild times we're living in. Yeah, it's crazy. And if you're having trouble finding a car during these weird times, the F-150 is one of the most in-stock cars on tsp.truecar.com. Yes, it's a truck, sorry, we keep calling it a car. <laughs> Everything is a car, car reviews. Yes, exactly, okay. everything. We got switches in here like your, like a Raptor. A Raptor, Yuri, be careful with yeah, your choice yeah. of words. Yeah, so uh, one of these days we'll wire something up. Yes, I wanna, maybe I'll, a winch. A, a Wolo horn. A what? Those horns, that's the company name, that you can get like, like air horns, All right. musical air horns. I didn't know they had like a name like that. That was the company name, I don't know, but I had one back in the day. I feel like F-150 people and truck people in general would do like train horns and stuff. Yeah, no, we're gonna wire it and put it back in the press fleet so no one's gonna know. Yes. I'll put a little sticky note that says, push this. Yeah, or don't push this, because then everybody will push it. How about seat comfort? Very, very good, no issues. The tremor on the seating also looks really cool. One thing I forgot to mention with the interior as well, this texture, really cool. It's not like carbon fiber, it's not camo, it's- It's a 3D printed forged carbon. Yes, <laughs> I guess. I, I like it, and then there's no gloss black, like it's this gloss gray. It looks really nice in the sun, it pops, like there's metallic in it, it's great. Adjustable pedals in case you're short. Optional. 
and then the back seat room is crazy. We can like lift up all the seats and we got tons of room back there and the little thing that comes up. Pretty much like every new F-150, which this truck is just really, really good. Yeah, this is a fantastic truck. And the sound system. Okay. Very good. Oh my it's, God. It's a very, very good sound system. Yes. So uh, when you're listening to Sirius XM 44, <laughs> it sounds really good with the bass. I was actually shocked at how good the sound system was. I know. Was. I was too at first. Because we never bring up sound systems unless it's really good. Yes. <laughs> and lastly, visors. Oh yeah, that's right. Three, two, one. Oh, full pass. Of course. Cup holders are great. They'll fit anything you want. And then we can move the shifter down and we got this cool armrest thing for working on your computer and doing your business. Yeah, and then we got a wireless charger down there as well and then more cup holders back here and a phone holder in the middle. So I'm pretty sure that's everything with this new Ford Tremor. Really like it. Let's get to the price. Starts at 59550 Canadian. Check a couple option boxes and you get to $85,440. This is an awesome alternative to the Raptor and an awesome alternative to modifying your FX4 and potentially making your F-150 look cheesy. I didn't think I would like this more than a Rebel, but I do, so I'd highly recommend buying this truck. Yeah. It's a great truck. I agree. All right. Thank you all for watching. <laughs>